Assalamu alaikum, hürmetli tamamışı binler, hende yaşlar. Bugün stilistika fanıdan Functional Styles mağazıda Tiridars maşğulatını olup oramız. Mağazımızını kuyda geçe boşlarımız. So, about Functional Styles. First of all, we should talk about the general notes of style. Then about newspaper style, then scientific style, publicistic style, uh, ballet letter style. And also official documents, the style of official documents. Functional styles. Before talking about functional styles, we should analyze first of all what is style. So, style is a product of individual choices and patterns of choices among the linguistic possibilities. And according to Galperin, the style is a quality of language which communicates precisely emotions or thoughts or a system of emotions or the system of thoughts. Uh, when we talk about the style, first of all, we should analyze so uh, by some criteria. First of all, by the register. By the register, we can talk about the style will be as a uh, formal, in, uh, informal and neutral. And by individual, it will be uh, by individual uh, characteristics, it will be as a personal one. And by context communication, it will be as a functional style. About the functional styles, we should talk then, after talking about the style. So, first, what is neutral style? The neutral style, um, the words which depends uh, in formal and uh, in informal style. But about the formal style, we can talk about only when we talk as a bookish one or as a literary one. And about informal style, uh, when we talk about, uh, as a, how to say, with our friends, or um, chatting by mobile phones uh, also will be as an informal stuff. Just let's um, see some example. For example, as an example one, we may give uh, as a sample the word begin. Begin. Begin is a neutral one. And uh, the next one is start. Start or get started. Or get started and the third one is comments here we can see that begin is a neutral word why because as a foreign language when we learn the English language the begin will be as an understandable word for everybody even uh, according to their level also and the second one is start and get started it will be as an informal so we can talk uh, with our friends or in chattering we may use the start or get started and the last one is comments comments this is a literary one as a formal style uh, when we talk about the vocabulary one so comments we may use only formal style as a literary one so when we talk about the formal style we should talk about the archaic words and historical words or the absolute words so archaic words, they are um, the words which we don't use in our speech. About the absolute words, absolute words also are the historical words, but the words that dropped from the language no longer in use, and for at least a century. And about historical words, we can use ancient words. For example, musical names and ancient other words. So they were the information about the style. And the next one is, and we should talk about the functional style. What is functional style? Functional style, according to Gal Perrin, a functional style is a system of interrelated language which serves a definite aim in communication. When we talk about the functional style, we should classify the functional styles according to some criteria. So, the first is will be as a newspaper style. And the next one will be as a publicistic style, then the scientific style, then the ballet letter style. And of course, the last one is the style of official documents. And uh, when we talk about the newspaper style, we should talk about only the articles uh, which published in newspapers. Because in newspapers, the information should be clear, short, and uh, by the authors, I mean about the journalists. And about the publicistic style, publicistic style, we may talk about the oratory or the speech in front of the auditory, or we may say also about some essays also, and some articles only for public. 
And the next one is scientific style. Scientific style, it means only about the dissertations or scientific articles, uh, articles and some theses or some um, another scientific essays, for example. Uh, here we can use some vocabulary which depends or which belongs only to one scientific uh, terminology for as, a, as in professional terms. Because the uh, scientific vocabulary um, will be used only in scientific proofs or scientific branches. And the next one is that official documents. When we talk about the official documents, first of all we can imagine about the business documents or maybe legal documents or uh, some military documents because here also we should um, learn or work with some terms as um, means as a, for example as a military one and then then the next one is balance letter style when we talk about the balance letter style first of all we may uh, imagine about the fairy tales because fairy tales means uh, full of emotions and full of thoughts because the fairy tales for children, for kids. Even sometimes we know that um, any kind of fairy tales uh, uh, adults also uh, can easily learn uh, at um, learning process. I mean about the English language. And besides the fairy tales, the poems also are as a Bellas red letter style because in poems also the poets can give their emotions or can give their thoughts or um, maybe in poems also all poets can give their I would say lifestyle even and uh, uh, as we know the, there are some functions of Bellas letter style as a uh, it should be as a cognitive and aesthetic or genuine not tried imagery achieved by pure linguistic devices because in uh, balanced letter style we may use richness of vocabulary and expressive means expressive means we know that there are some metaphors metonymies or maybe ironies or euphemisms even we may use some quotations or even we may use some sayings or sometimes proverbs also and another uh, function is a peculiar selection of vocabulary which reflects the author's personal evaluation of things or one phenomenon. In any case, the Bellas Letter style is very interesting and it is very easy style for learning process. When we talk about the functional styles, first of all, we should talk about Bellas Letter style. Why? Because in any case, any author or maybe any writer can give emotional coloring thought in his or her roman or maybe novel. We know that uh, even in Abdullah Qahar's or maybe in Abdullah Qadri's or Shakespeare's sonnets, we may see some kind of metaphors, ironies, or um, in short, the emotions of the writer or the uh, emotional coloring thoughts of the author. And as a reader one, we may see all, uh, all the stylistic devices or the expressive means in all novels or uh, in poems. The last and the main functional style is a balanced letter style. When we talk about the balanced letter style, we, should, uh, we may talk about the genres of literature. Why? Because when we talk about balanced letter style, uh, first of all, we may imagine about poems, about fairy tales, about the novels, and so on. So when we talk about the balanced letter style, first of all, we should pay attention to the language style because the language style will be as a poetry one. And then the language style will, will be as an emotive prose because the writer or the author can give their emotion. And the last one is the language style of drama. Drama also we know as a Shakespeare's dramas we have already read as a reader, yeah? And then uh, there are some functions of balanced letter style as a, it should be cognitive and aesthetic. Why? Because it is so emotional and so coloring. And then genuine, not tried, majorly achieved by pure linguistic devices. And we should pay attention about its vocabulary. Why? Because the richness of vocabulary and expressive means are the most important in balanced letter style. And then a peculiar selection of vocabulary which reflects the author's personal evaluation of things or phenomena. In any case, the Bella's letter style is individual in sense because every person, I mean about the author or the poem or the writer, can give his or her 
emo uh, emotions or maybe how to say the thoughts for one thing or for for one event or the phenomena. Bugun ge functional style mouses dage all borrel gentile darsimiz ning brinchse tugade king darsimiz interpretation of the text darsi kinch darsimiz da kurushkun chakhair.